All right, guys, how's it going? I am starting this video from uh, inside the the house again. It still feels weird, obviously. Oh, my, oh, I am starting this video off a little bit different. Yeah, I'm gonna start it off with showing you a little bit of my marine fish tank, I think, because today we picked up a, a coral, which is our first one in the reef tank. We've only just recently started it. I've got a new live rock what's going in, which is what the coral is gonna be attached to because it's one that spreads around a rock. So uh, I didn't want it to overtake the big rocks in the tank. So I bought a small little one, which it could sit on and then it could just cover that whole rock and look really good. So I'm gonna to get to showing you that right now. The tank lights currently aren't on because they're set on a timer. Um, they're due to come on in about an hour and 20 minutes so i doubt we'll see the tank today with the lights on but i'm sure i can uh, capture that in the in a video somewhere uh but yeah start this video i'm just going to do that and then we're going to get to car stuff which is going to be the blow off valves on the bmw i'm going to get to doing this show you a little bit of a snippet of our marine tank and um yeah we'll go from there There she is. She don't look like much right now. Well, it wasn't how I expected it to f feel. It's quite rough. So we've now got the coral all placed in our tank. I am gonna let it sit for a little while, let it chill and get ready to turn the lights on in about 45 minutes um, and crack on with the car modifications because that is what you guys are really here for, isn't it? So let's crack on with that. Alright guys, so I've now got that on the old printer, uh, it's actually um, preheating, it's getting ready to do it, so um, while that is doing that, I am going to install, you sat right there, oh, oh, oh. come back, come back, come back. Anyway, so while that's 3D printing, I've got two of them because there's obviously two diverter valves that need to be blocked. Um, so yeah, while they're printing, we are going to install these, which I've also got two of, got that one. And then this one, I was just doing some testing with the piping because this top little piece right here seems a lot bigger than the one on the car. So luckily, the piping on the car is a little bit brittle and luckily the kits come with tubes and some little um, adapters to go from a bigger tube down to a smaller tube. So we'll just use the new tubes, uh, saves the old ones being brittle and broken. Um, and then we get two clamps per diverter valve as well. So we've got one that side and then I can use the other clamp to clamp the little caps that I've now uh, 3D printed to block off the other end. It's easier if I show you on the car. Give me two seconds, we'll go out to the car and we'll install these bits and then it's just literally waiting for the caps to be 3D printed before we can test them, really. So I'm gonna do that now. All right guys, so as you guys should already know, we have done the charge pipe on my car if you don't already know then you should probably go back and watch the video but obviously we've got the charge pipe in there we've got the two diverter valves in there um, on their two little 
rubber things which is good because we haven't got to find something to recreate this we can just use the ones we've got on the charge pipe which is good um, the little things that I'm 3D printing are to go over these little end bits that one and there's one right at the back as well um, yeah but like I say the, the line is not very uh, very nice so anyway I'm gonna get to taking the top bracket off of both of these get the diverter valves out get these little tubes out of the way because they're annoying um, hopefully don't break anything else like I did last time and go from there All right guys, so that back one is quite fiddly to get off without removing all of this, but it's doable and it did not take me long. All I uh, used was my little snap-on tool up there to push the clip over and then twisted it with the rest of the way with my hand. So that's both of them off. Obviously none of this piping gets reused because we're blocking the end that that goes onto, um, which is there and the other one back there, which you ain't gonna be able to see. But like I say, that's why I needed to print two caps other than that, it's just getting the, the blow-off valves in here, getting the plumbing thingied up there, so then the blow-off valves and the plumbing and everything works, and then we just got to wait for them to block them off. So I'm going to get to putting them bits on right now. I forgot to mention as well guys, I printed these in TPU so they are flexible. Got a bit of flex in them, yes they are purple because I like purple, you should know this. I've just got to clean them up because I don't know if you can see if it's going to focus or not but you see these little taggly bits, there's all inside there as well so I've got to clean all that up. Ah, oh, you might be able to see it better in this one. There you go. But yeah, it's got all those I've got to clean up and then I've got to clean out the outsides and then they're ready to go on. So, fingers crossed these work. If they don't, we're up shit street. Alright, so guys, um, I tried to test fit it to make sure it was going to work and I've slid it on and now because of the little, like the roughness on it, it's now not coming off again. So we know it's not coming off. I'm still going to put a clamp on it anyway. And I'm just going to put this one on the back of there. I don't know if you, you guys are going to be able to see this at all. But it just literally... in there but it's not focusing but at least they stand out so I know where I've done modifications anyway I'm gonna get the clamps on these quickly and uh, yeah we should be all good okay so clamps on clamp is sort of you can see it's on it's on not sort of on it's on but you can sort of see it's on um, and yeah it's just time to test the the pressure on these springs really um so i'm gonna let it sit and warm up and get it to temperature and then we'll take it for a little drive and i will show you how i'm measuring the boost all right so guys what i'm using is a, uh, an app called pro tool that's connected to my phone wire goes down and into the OBD port that's a K plus D can wire by the way um, and it all links to this Pro Tool and then I just click on engine uh, click on live data and then I've just I click on gauges I've sorted it all out so we've got boost once it loads 
oil temps and coolant temps and then obviously we've got vehicle speed mile, uh, RPM and then we've got the boost at the top here which was about 14 there we go mm. 1 to 14 point 1 to point 14 before the DVs and it was reading between 7 and 8 PSI with the standard DVs when it focuses so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it get to temperature it's sort of warming up now it's sort of warming up um, ish so I'm going to let it get to temp and then we're going to go for a little spin and see what sort of PSI I'm getting and the way I've been holding it is just in my little ashtray like that so we are going to do that now quickly So that is coming to the end of this video. Um, I hope it sort of was an instant video for you guys. I can't remember where I left off the last clip. I don't know whether it was showing you the boost or the sound of the car. Hopefully I got both and hopefully those clips are in the video. But um, I'm gonna end this video here now. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you do wanna see any more of the marine tank, I will keep you guys updated if that's what you wish. Um, we're currently on its first cycle, so it's only been it's only been running with fish in it for about a week. So uh, we're waiting to grow and stuff like that. We've put the coral in today. Hopefully, within a couple of days, couple of few days, that will start to come out, and then within a few weeks, that will attach itself to that rock and it will start growing. So, fingers crossed on that. We're going to keep cycling it. Why not keep cycling it? We're going to keep letting it go through its cycle, and then it will just be a matured fish tank fingers crossed anyway i'm gonna leave this here i appreciate you guys watching and i will see you in the next video